Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to do a few numericals. Okay, we are going to do a few numericals. Okay. Today we are going to do a few numericals. And you see these numericals, they come from any exams. Okay, so you might want to concentrate on what I am doing. So this is the first question. It says A by B is given as A divided by B is equal to 3. We need to find the value of 3B by A. What is the value of this? So let's use this equation number 1 and let's start with this. So you start, you say using 1. Okay, you start using 1. Alright. So you write A is equal to 3B. Alright, now let's put it over there. So 3B divide by a is actually equal to 3b divide by 3b and if you cancel them out is equal to 1 so the first option is the right option okay let's move on to our second question students okay it's given if y is equal to k into x where k is a constant and y the value of y is given as 20 and the value of x is given as 5 okay what is the value of y when x is equal to 7 okay that is your question first let us find out the constant okay so the given equation the given equation writing in short eqn the given equation is y is equal to k dot x all right so now y is given as 20 okay and x is given as 5 so let's start doing first of all this is 20 is equal to k dot 5 5 ones are 5 5 fours are 20 so 4 is equal to k now we need to plug in this k value into the first equation okay so you can write this as equation number one so you can start from here so from 1 okay so what do we do from 1 1 y is equal to k into x so that means uh, y is equal to 4 and the value of k is given over here that is a uh, value of x I'm sorry is given as 7 so that implies y is equal to 28 7 4 is a 28 all right so that's your correct answer moving on to our third question now students this is your third question it's given as if x by y minus y by x is 2 by 5 then which of the following must be true so let's do that okay it's given as x minus y divide by x you might want to put this in a bracket no problem if you put it also okay and if you don't also don't put it in a bracket also no problem now split it x by x minus y by x is equal to 2 by 5 all right so this is a 1 minus y divided by x is equal to 2 by 5 all right so 1 minus 2 by 5 is equal to y by x so that is 3 by 5 is equal to y by x now if you look at the options you don't have an option like this so you are uh, you know you have a tendency students have a tendency of thinking that the answer is not here and that's how you become a fool all right so we are not here to become a fool we are here to understand what is happening so if you look at this first option and if you split that so what does it become it becomes x plus y or x by y plus y by y is equal to 8 by 3 right that means x by y is equals to so this is a 1 so you have 8 by 3 minus 1 so x by y is coming as how much it's coming as 5 by 3 all right look at this it's coming x by y is coming 5 by 3 and y by x that implies from here what you can write y by x is equal to 3 by 5 so you see your first one 
is the correct option okay first one look at the second one x is 3 y is 5 not possible this one not possible and this one also if you try let's say let us try x by y minus 1 is equal to 1 by 3 so if you do x by y let's go down a bit x by y let's see if we have so much space down so that is x by y is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 that implies x by y is equal to 4 by 3 so this is not correct okay this is not correct this is not correct and this is not correct so the correct option is the a option okay so that is the correct option let's go on to our fourth question look at our fourth question it says m plus 2 is by m minus 2 is equal to 4 what is the value of m so let's find the value of m so it's given as m plus 2 divided by m minus 2 is equal to 4 okay so that is actually m plus 2 is equal to 4 m minus 2 so that is m plus 2 is equal to 4 m minus 8 so this is 2 plus 8 is equal to 4 m minus m so that is 10 is equal to 3 m all right 10 is equal to 3 m that implies 10 divide by 3 is equal to m so is the answer the correct answer is option number c all right just go back to the question check it out once again so the correct option is option number c let's move on to our fifth question so this is our fifth question okay okay students so this is our fifth question and our fifth question uh, looks lengthy but it is not let me tell you it says a is the average or the arithmetic mean of 3t and 11 so if you want to do this question this is how we are going to do okay this is how we are going to do a is equal to 3t plus 11 divide by 2 right because why it is the average what is the average sum of the two terms divide by 2 okay since there are only two terms b is equal to 4t plus 18 divide by 2 right and what is c c is equal to 5t plus 31 divide by 2 correct now it is given it is given that a it is it is given that we need uh, it is given that what what is the average it is given to find it is given it is given to find the average average of a comma b comma c so let's find a v g of say a b c in suffix is equal to a plus b plus c whole thing divide by a 3 all right so let's do the calculation so a, average i'm writing as a will be what is the value of a a is 3t plus 11 divide by 2 no problem let's write that 3t plus 11 divide by 2 plus 4t plus 18 divide by 2 4t plus 18 divide by 2 plus what is the next one 5t plus 31 okay that is 5t plus 31 divide by 2 all right whole thing is divided by a 3 
let's not write the a there let's write it more in the middle okay equal to sign and the a okay here is the average a all right so how will we find the a now a is equal to look 3t plus 11 plus 4t plus 18 plus 5t plus 31 whole thing divided by a 6 why because there's 2 2 2 in all there is a 2 here there is a 2 here and there is a 2 here in the denominator same denominator numerators are added now the 2 goes down gets multiplied with this 3 it becomes 6 so if you add the top part you're going to get it as 12 t see 3 4 plus 3 how much 7 plus 5 7 8 9 10 11 12 right so that is going to be 12 t and this one 11 plus 18 plus 31 is going to become 60 divided by 6 so eventually if you take out the 6 common you're left with 2t plus 10 divided by a 6 now if you cancel the 6 out you're left with 2t plus 10 now let's go back to that's our average okay a v g average now let's go back to our question and let's see if we have that option yes we do part b is the correct answer 2t plus 10 now moving on to our sixth question okay students let's go ahead all right okay so let's move on to our next question and that is our fourth question that is our sixth question i'm sorry okay and uh, how was this written as a uh, number four and understand this is supposed to be a number six all right this is going to be a sixth question so our sixth question says if 2m by n is equal to 1 by 3 then we need to fa find the value of uh, n by m correct so it's given let's start writing given given 2m divided by n is equal to 1 by 3 right so what happens bring the 2 down m by n is equal to 1 by 6 bring the 2 down here and multiply it with a 3 so what is n by m then n by m is just 6 by 1 that is actually equal to 6 okay so that's a very very simple question okay question uh, uh, option b is the correct answer let's go on to our seventh question all right let's do this question it's given that x minus y is equal to 9 what happened x minus y is equal to 9 comma x by 2 sorry not x by 2 printing mistake okay printing mistake assume it as a printing mistake he says sir are you printing yeah more or less i am okay y is equal to 6 now we put the value of y in this very very simple question right minus 6 is equal to 9 and x is equal to 9 plus 6 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so x is equal to 15 which is your correct option the correct option is option number c all right let's move on to our next question students question number eight it's given as if a is equal to 3b by 4 and b is equal to 16 we need to find the value of 2a minus 20 so a is equal to 3b by 4 yes of course you can write it like this and b is equals to 16 that implies a is equal to 3 into 16 divide by 4 4 ones are 4 4 fours are 16 4 threes are 12 so i got 12 so so two a 
minus 20 will give me as 2 into 12 minus 20 that is 24 minus 20 and the final answer is 4 okay very very simple sum students don't get confused very 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 simple sum okay let's move on to our next question all right question number nine so this next question that is saying is horsepower okay horsepower and watts what are they what is horsepower horsepower is the measurement of power when you have a motorcycle or something like that when you have a car the power is measured in horsepower okay and watts are units of measure of power all right they are directly proportional such that 3 horsepower is equal to 2,237.1 watts. How much power is in, how much power in watts is equal to 5 horsepower? Alright, so let's do this question. I am using another color, red color. Let's try and do it with the red, red color. Now this is a simple unitary method question. Okay, so you can write horsepower here. Uh, let's not do it there in the corner. Unitary method question, very simple type. Write horsepower here. Still done. So let me click on the pen. Yeah, okay. So we write horsepower here. Okay, and we write watts here. horsepower and watts okay now it's given three horsepower arrow or equal to 2237.1 that implies one horsepower will be less that is 2237.1 divide by 3 all right that means five horsepowers okay if you have 5 horsepowers, then what are you going to do? You're going to do 2237.1 divide by 3 into 5. Now let's just quickly do this calculation. That will be 2, 2 uh, is given as 37.1 into 5 divided by that is a 3. Okay. That is about uh, it's equal to this is equal to okay is three seven two eight point five and of course watts all right don't forget to you know use the uh, what that is called unit all right so where is my answer three seven two eight point five is here that is my option number C all right students let's move on to our last question right question number 10 it says if c minus d divide by d is equal to 3 by 5 which of the following must be true so let's do that again it's given c minus d divide by d is equal to 3 by 5 all right so that is c by d minus like the previous question d by d is equal to 3 by 5 that implies c by d is equal to 3 by 5 plus 1 all right so c by d is equal to 8 by 5 now the, the you it would it might look like the option is not here all right but the option will be here if you try and analyze which is the one let's say if i take the d one d at option if i write d by c plus d i'm doing the d at option okay this is the option i'm doing is equal to 5 divided by 30 but if i take it up like this c plus d divide by d this becomes 13 by 5 right so if I split it then this becomes C 
by d plus 1 is equal to 13 divided by 5. Now if I do c by d is equal to 13 divided by 5 minus 1. If I do that, then what do I get from here? What am I getting? I am getting c by d is equal to 8 by 5. Isn't it? So see, my option D is my correct answer. Okay, that is my correct answer. So that's it for uh, this video, students. Okay, you keep taking as much help as possible from sort of Sir's classes because always the help that you need will be provided at sort of Sir's class. Thank you for watching.